Hey guys, uh, today I'm doing a quick review of the GPS watch that I got. It's from Timex, called Timex Marathon GPS Speed Plus Distance. I'll tell you uh, right away, it's a pretty basic watch. It's I believe Timex designed this watch for someone who just wants to go out there, run, and be able to find out how fast they're going and how far they've already gone running in terms of distance. For $99 or 100 bucks, you can't go wrong. I got mine from the internet. Um, reason being is that it's not available yet in Canada and I checked the Canadian Timex website it will cost about 150 bucks plus tax to get these so it's definitely a lot expensive and uh, I usually buy electronic stuff uh, from the US because it's a lot cheaper and um, saves me more money so that's 100 bucks including shipping so the seller was uh, pretty nice, nice to give me a free shipping on this one so what do you get? you get the manual and I definitely recommend uh, whoever buys this watch to at least spend some several minutes you know just to get to know the watch really well even though it's really really easy to use unlike other GPS watch uh, USB charging cable and the watch itself so as you can see it's not hard to operate uh, there's uh, about six buttons here you got the mode button the on and off uh, for the GPS and you got your backlit lighting the in, in the glow you got your start and, uh, or split that's for your um, laps if you want to split it you got your OK or view button you got your save or stop button and uh, yes it's not hard to use so when I actually um, open mine and I'll start operating the watch all I gotta do is just start browsing through the menu and go to run uh, if you want to enable the GPS it will tell you and it starts searching the GPS uh, if you want to go to chrono, that's your timers, and it will tell you if you still want to go. Um, you want to use your GPS or you're running indoor, and you have. Uh, if you want to view your run data, you can do that, and you go, you want to set your alarm, you can do this alarm, and uh, set um, menu. If you want to set your auto lap, if you want to set your information such as your um, time. Uh, if you want to set your um, information, your weight, your height, and if you want to set uh, what kind of um, measurement uh, you want to use for the watch, if it's on miles or kilometers. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic watch and it's not hard to use at all. And one uh, feature that I believe um, this watch um, makes it appealing for most uh, buyers is that uh, the capability of being water resistant for 30 meters. Uh, most uh, GPS watch uh, under um, 150 bucks or even 100 200 bucks are not even capable of having that um, water resistant and uh, for 100 bucks you can't go wrong with that so the only drawback that people complain about this watch is that they cannot download their data from the watch to the computer I'll tell you later there's actually a trick to do that and as of um, now officially Timex said it's not uh, capable of doing that like officially they stated that so as you can see, I tell you why. The USB cable, the prong, I tried to mod mine. Uh, there's actually two connectors um, or pins that's only available inside. So I added the two ones and it didn't work. So that's the sad part about that. And oh well, Jeep, um, you know, uh, Timex wants to make this watch just for basic um, users, right? Uh, and that's the reason with that. And I'll tell you later, what's the trick that you can do to be able to retrieve your data and trust me it's capable of downloading the data from the watch to computer as for the battery life um, Timex said it lasts for eight hours um, if you use the watch with GPS um, enabled continuously I don't really think so I tried mine a couple of times I'd say five to six hours six hours max uh, give and take and um, if you don't uh, use the GPS and use it just as a normal watch it lasts for a long time several weeks I'd say and uh, the charging of the watch I'm very surprised it charged really really quick I'd say less than an hour you'll get a full charge right away but I usually uh, leave my GPS uh, watch charging for about an hour or two just to make sure it's fully charged so for a hundred bucks uh, with the capability of uh, displaying your speed and distance you can't go wrong with that and uh, the ease of use it's pretty good the way the watch was built it's pretty decent it's actually well built like you know sturdy it's not like you know some cheap materials they use the straps good and um, and everything about this watch is you know 
it's nice. I like the shape. It's not bulky like other GPS watch. They look so big and people try to wear them outside as a daily watch. They look so ridiculous. This watch, I, I usually forget that it's actually a GPS watch. The only reason why I remember is because of these letterings here. But other than that, I use this as a daily watch and I like it. And one thing I do recommend for people when you buy this watch, just make sure you put a protective screen. I just actually um, used one of the spare um, screen protectors that I got from my cell phone that I don't use anymore. And it works great. I just cut out the shape and yeah, it prevents the uh, screen of the watch from getting uh, scratched a lot. And as for the <laughs> downloading the data capability I mentioned earlier, that there's a trick. Yes, there is a trick. Uh, what you need to do is just to contact Solius, get a, tell them to that you want to purchase a USB charging cable for Solius 2.0. And as you can see, that's the Solius 2.0 charging cable, and that's the Timex uh, charging cable. As you can see, it's pretty big. A big difference in terms of size. Reason being is that. The USB controller resides in this um, clip here and that enables the computer to detect your watch and be able to recognize it. As for the software, just go to Solius website. There's a free uh, uh, software that you can use that you can download for free and you can uh, use that software. And I've looked online as well. Some people said that you can use different watch, I mean different software for this watch and to store your data and tomorrow to check your data and to view your data after your, after you run and uh, yeah so that makes it uh, much more interesting I got mine for 29 bucks and I'm still in pretty good you know pretty good uh, mood about it it's 129 bucks now for the whole thing uh, with the Solus 2.0 USB charging cable I'm still not gonna complain reason being is that I'm getting the feature that I want especially the water resistant for um, 30 meters if you look the if you look for Garmin 210 as well as um, Solus 2.0, those watches are not even close as being water resistant. Uh, and if you ever try submerging them in the water, you'll see what happens. I'll probably die. But this one, I'm not even worried, especially if I'm running on the rain. I like I like that having that feature being water resistant and the ease of you know being able to use this watch, and I don't have to worry about you know which button to press and things like that. That's what makes this watch very appealing to me. And for a hundred bucks, you can't go wrong. And I do recommend you buy the USB charging cable from Solus uh, for the Solus 2.0, which will give you um, that capability to be able to retrieve your data. The only thing that's missing about this watch is the heart rate uh, monitor. For me, it doesn't matter, but for some people, it matters. Uh, for me, what matters most is that I just want to know how fast I'm going. In terms, you know and when I'm running and as well as the distance on, on how, how far I've already gone through. So if that's something that's really important for you and you don't care about the heart rate monitoring part, there's definitely a watch for you. If you're a person who wants to monitor their heart like some other people out there, then there's not a watch for you. But I definitely, definitely recommend this for a runner who wants to just go out there and run and be able to see how fast they're going and in terms of distance how far they already ran. So. There you go, and that's my quick review for Timex Marathon GPS. And my rate for this watch is 9.0 9 out of 10. I definitely, definitely recommend this watch. And in fact, I love this watch. Hopefully you like re my review, and um, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.